Hi, this is Aldo from ExcelNinja.com. In this video we'll be looking at um, functions like minimum, maximum, small and large. And I use the, uh, it's Olympics time, it's London 2012 while I'm recording this video. So I'm using the information that I've got from the official website of the Olympics regarding the 400 meters uh, men's freestyle swimming and the heats, basically the results of the heats. Uh, the way it happened, for those who are not familiar, um, swimmers run a few heats and the, in this particular case of this event, uh, the eight best um, times qualify for the final. So I've downloaded the information into Excel uh, with regards to the swimmer and their times and then what I did just to be able to um, manipulate the numbers etc. I've express the number at the time rather from minutes seconds and hundreds of seconds in total hundreds of seconds just by multiplying the minutes by 60 by 100 and the seconds by 100 and then summing up the 100 so basically 3 minutes 53 33 equals 23,333 hundreds that allows me to apply the functions that I will now show you how do we work out which one is the best time that was achieved during the heats? Uh, basically, you'll be looking at this. I'll, I've typed in here best, and the formula to look for it is we want to look for the minimum time, i.e., the fastest, which is the smallest time in this range. Uh, so basically, in all 28 entrants. And to do that, we use the min function minimum. So is the syntax is equal min min open brackets and then the range that you want to apply it to. And in this particular case, as you can see, to my whole range of 28 times. And this gives us 22507, which is equals 3457, uh, which uh, incidentally is of the guy that also won the whole thing. Uh, and where is it? Let's go and have a look for him. 22507. There you go. Yang Sun from China, I believe. And he won the final as well. So that is the best one. The worst one was 4 minutes 9 10. And we get that by instead of the min function, applying the max M A X again, open brackets, and then the full range. And again, this finds a maximum value within a certain range. Then there's two more uh, functions I want to show you. One is called small and the other one is called large. What if you wanted to look for the top eighth uh, time? Because that is the time that uh, qualifies, the last time that qualifies for the final. So. What I've created here is use the small function, which basically again looks at the range that you specify, but then it sort of chooses the eighth smallest value within that range. And I do that by inputting eight here and referencing the cell B6 in the formula. So what I'm telling Excel here is to look for the eighth or whatever number I put in cell B6, which happens to be 8 right now, and look for the smallest 8 value in the range from G12 to G39. So the, the number happens to be 22725, which equals 34725, which happens to be 1% um, higher than the best time that we identified before. So the eighth entrant to the final went 1% slower than the fastest. Uh, similarly, if you want to change this, you know, I can change to three. So the top third, sorry, the, yeah, the top third competitors that qualify for the final uh, qualified in 346.24, which is 0.5% worse than the best. And similarly, we can use um, the large function to find the small, the slowest um, competitors. So if I want to see the slowest fifth competitor of the of the range of 28 entrants, I use the large function, which again 
refers to then to the whole range and picks up the value in B7, which at the moment is 5. So the fifth worst time was 3.56.76, which was 5.2% slower than the best time. So again, to recap, to find the minimum value in a range of values, you use the min function, M-I-N. To find the maximum, you find you use max, M-A-X. And then if you want to find a top something value, you use small for the smallest and large for the largest.